morning. Uh, today is September 25th, 2018, and um, we have an update from yesterday. We were called into the surgeon's office yesterday um, to basically go over what <clears throat> he had spoke to me um, about with the tonsil cancer. Um, he said it's about the size of a marble in his tonsils, which is the primary. And he feels that he's a really good candidate for um, robotic surgery. So it was, it's been a, I didn't sleep well last night. The surgery is, um, there's a lot to think about and Joe is not dealing with it really well. It takes him a couple days. So it's really hard because, I don't know, this <clears throat> cancer thing is, um, it sucks. Um, when they say that they have a team, I don't know if it's different at cancer hospitals, but I don't feel like Joe has a team. I feel that they talk to each other but we don't see them together as a team. We don't talk to them. We don't hear each of their opinions at the same time. Um, so it's frustrating. Um, and we have limited resources. We're not rich. We have already went through this journey and this process and now to start thinking second opinions, which is in our minds, prolongs everything and cancer grows no matter and spreads no matter how aggressive or non-aggressive it is the fact is is it's in your body and it's feeding off of the sugars and it's growing so um it was just a really rough night because um some days it's just like that <clears throat> so the surgery that they really think that Joe should do first is um, a really heavy surgery. It's uh, major. It is not just a tonsillectomy. It is a tonsillectomy done by the robot that cuts into his neck muscle. Um, there can be some major complications. Also, the robot will go in and take out the lymph nodes that they see, then there can possibly be um, other lymph nodes that need to be removed. Uh, the recovery typically in the hospital alone is three to five days and usually needs a feeding tube through the nose they send. And after three to five days, if he doesn't can't swallow because of that muscle being cut, then he'll go home with a feeding tube. That recovery is four to six weeks, and then he still possibly will need radiation. I don't know why I'm so emotional in the last 12 hours, but um, the gravity of it, I guess, is... So then he goes... Um, Possibly no radiation, so that's good, but he may. The, there's still a chance, even with that major surgery, he'll need some radiation and possibly chemo. So, uh, we're looking through the holidays, probably. Um, it's a long haul. Uh, we meet with the radiation doctor tomorrow because Joe really wants to hear his opinion. Um... I have a feeling they're going to say re robotic surgery first. And I, I, part of me feels that the doctor basically said this cancer is so new and the staging can really, with HPV um, related and not the smoking and alcohol use type of throat cancer, I feel like a little bit of a guinea pig for those medical records. I know that that's not, I know they wouldn't do that, but I also, he basically said it's so new, so the 
this is what we think, and he said, this is what I think we, I would do. But <clears throat> if I was in your shoes, but I also think they're trying to figure out the ways to treat it best, and it's just not quite there yet. It's not like something that's been around for so long that they know how to um, just treat it with a hundred percent yes you're going to be cured so um he feels that joe will be cured but cancer can always come back he'll have five years to getting those cat scans um you know at first it's going to be every couple months and then it will be once a year so it's a long journey um i know i keep saying this um i feel really overwhelmed today and a little sad for joe and just ultimately he has to make the decision um what he feels is best for him um i'm trying not to waver on that i'm just uh giving him some facts sending him some stuff that i've read um things that i've read the surgery is probably the best because um if there's even a small chance of him getting by with not having the chemo and radiation we should try that another thing that's kind of crazy is that our deductibles have been met so far and so that's weighing on him that in the event this cat carries over to the new year then we start all over a valid concern because we have a lot going on and he doesn't want to miss work and he can't get that out of his head that his life matters more than our bills so we're going through some emotions in these last like 12 to 15 hours I guess Anyhow, sorry it's not as positive and upbeat today. Um, I'll update in a couple days after, um, probably on Thursday after we talk to the radiation doctor. The surgeon would like to have a answer from Joe either way. He said he's fine with either way if Joe just wants to do chemo and radiation and decides not to go through the major surgery that he's fine with that. He feels the outcome for both of those types of choices are the same and which would be a um, cure, probably. They can never say 100%. So, um, the other thing is, is that in three to four weeks is when he would have his massive surgery. So, that's it for now. Until next time, go live on your loved ones and take care. Thanks for watching.